Welcome back to Hit Stick Football, where we tear down the biggest NFL moves with no holds barred. Today, we're diving into the Minnesota Vikings. Are they making moves for a bright future? Or are they on the brink of disaster? This offseason has been all about big gambles and risky choices. From a shocking quarterback change to the biggest contracts, it's a roller coaster ride you won't want to miss. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay in the know with all things NFL. First up, the Vikings have stirred the pot with some controversial acquisitions and draft picks. Sam Darnold signed as QB. Let's be clear, Sam Darnold is here as a placeholder. The Vikings aren't committing long term. Instead, Darnold is just keeping the seat warm until overall draft pick number 10, JJ McCarthy, is ready. How long Darnold stays in the spotlight depends on how quickly McCarthy develops and how the team performs early in the season. JJ McCarthy drafted as QB. The Vikings have made it clear they're looking toward the future by drafting McCarthy. He's the long-term plan, but don't be surprised if we see him on the field sooner rather than later if Darnold can't deliver. Jonathan Greenard and Andrew Van Ginkle added to defense. The Vikings aren't messing around with their defense, adding two aggressive pass rushes in Greenard and Van Ginkle. These moves are aimed at transforming the defensive line, injecting some much-needed youth and aggression. Justin Jefferson resigned. Justin Jefferson isn't just the Vikings' top player. He's the NFL's highest-paid non-QB, and for good reason. This man is a walking highlight reel, and fresh off being one of the stars of Netflix's receiver, Jefferson's fame is skyrocketing. But could this attention bring a new kind of pressure, like the infamous Madden curse? The Vikings are counting on Jefferson to remain their offensive powerhouse and his $110 million contract over four years reflects just how vital he is. Let's get into who's out the door, starting with the big names. Kirk Cousins, released. The Vikings' decision to let go of Kirk Cousins, who headed to Atlanta for a $180 million deal, marks a significant shift in strategy. This move signals a fresh start at quarterback, but whether it's the right move remains to be seen. Daniil Hunter departed. Losing Hunter leaves a big hole in the Vikings' pass rush. They're betting that the new additions can fill this void, but replacing a star isn't easy, and this gamble could haunt them if their defense struggles. The release of Dalvin Cook was a bold move, and it didn't take long for him to find a new home with the Dallas Cowboys. Cook's departure marks the end of an era for the Vikings' backfield, and his signing with Dallas adds another twist to his story. This move will be closely watched as the Cowboys hope to capitalize on Cook's proven talent. Now let's talk strategy. What's the plan here? Quarterback transition. The Vikings are in a state of flux at QB. With Darnold acting as a temporary fix, all eyes are on how soon McCarthy will step up. This isn't about winning now. It's about prepping for the future. But how long can they wait? Defensive overhaul. The addition of Greenard and Van Ginkle represents a shift towards a younger, more aggressive defense. The Vikings are banking on these new faces to reinvigorate their pass rush and disrupt opposing offenses. Offensive continuity with a twist, keeping Justin Jefferson while moving away from Cousins and Cook shows a commitment to maintaining offensive firepower, but in a new configuration question is whether this mix of old and new will be enough to stay competitive. Here's what the experts are saying about these bold moves. PFF has pointed out that the Vikings are attempting a balancing act, trying to stay competitive while building for the future. They see the moves as risky but potentially rewarding if everything clicks into place. Viking age analysts note that the defensive additions of Greenard and Van Ginkle could significantly impact the team's performance especially if they quickly adapt to their new roles. However, they caution that these changes could take time to bear fruit. ESPN expresses skepticism, particularly concerning the quarterback situation. Without a proven starter, they argue the Vikings offense might struggle to find its rhythm, especially without a strong running game post-Cook. They question whether the team's strategy will pay off or backfire. All right, buckle up. Our bold prediction for the Minnesota Vikings in 2024 9-8 and eight missing the playoffs. It's another middle-of-the-road call because that's where we see this team going. They're too hesitant to fully commit to a rebuild and too unsure of their current roster's potential. Expect highlights from Jefferson, of course, 
and some surprises from the new defense, but without stability at quarterback, the playoffs might just be out of reach. What do you think of the Vikings' offseason moves and our prediction? Are they setting themselves up for a bright future, or are they about to fall flat? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to keep up with all things NFL. Thanks for tuning in to Hitstick Football, where we never hold back.